video, I'll be showing how to play the Nidorf Sicilian English attack. So the English attack is when e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, as we know, play a6. Well, the English attack is when the bishop e3 is played. Now e5 by us in this. Now he goes knight b3, retreating the knight. And now we go he we go for bishop d7. We're trying to protect, reinforce, but this time we have a pawn in the same like the knight of old main line. We we're gonna develop like knight b7, bishop b7, knight of six, but instead we have e5. So f3, bishop to e6, putting more pressure on this knight. Queen to d2, now we'll play knight b7. Castles. Now we're just developing my opponent castles now, let's say. White castles. And he's putting an attack on our rook. Well, this time we block on like the old main line. Play knight b7 instead. We don't play queen c7. Now g4. Oh, he's trying to pawn storm. Now we play b5. We're trying to pawn storm on the queen side so we can checkmate the king. Now g5. Now what happens is here is we have to move our knight. We have to move our knight somewhere. Well, we can't go to e8. Because um, we're not developing our pieces really. Our pieces are not there is that E8 can do anything. So we play knight h5 here. And now we're trying to threaten this f4 spot. Like, we're trying to make outposts there. If we can, it'd be great for black. We currently can because of the bishop on e3 plus the queen on d2. This attack is very annoying. So we play. So white plays knight d5. Someone blocks us, but white is very great reason. White is trying to put more pressure on black. The pressure on the e7 bishop b6. There's more pressure to black. White's trying to put more pressure. So now we take d5. Now white takes a pawn. This is a very good move. Because white no, this isn't the, this pawn is very annoying to black. Like, let's say I want to play pawn to e6, I couldn't, I just couldn't. So now we play knight to b6. Trying to put more pressure on this, we have another idea, knight to c4. Knight to a5, and now we play queen to c7. Well, this move is trying to put more pressure, like white is. See how white has his lineup, we're going to put on a c pawn. So now, knight to c6. This is a very good move by white. Putting more pressure on the e7 bishop, and it's pretty annoying blocking black from c2 pawn. Play bishop to d8, moving on bishop back. So white takes, we can easily take, but white will not take. This is the end. What would white probably do? White would probably not take this and play something like bishop e2, try developing e2 instead and the reason I want to do that would be because if I took like this let's say and we go like this and you see how like let's say I went bishop e2 rook c8 this would be very bad like then just minus two one this would be terrible because c c pawn is attacked we can put more pressure on knight c4 this is completely dominating for black. Well, what would probably happen after a play something like bishop d e2? What probably happens is black would try this. And then what would probably happen is just a normal game like rook g1. And then you would get a close position relics. Both sides cannot attack because 
G pawn and the C knight. And why can't move this pieces? So it's technically pinned, I would say. But overall, this is a drawn position. Like and subscribe. And bye.